twist it this way. There we go. So welcome everybody from home. This is the first session that we're doing online. This is day one of no school. So welcome. My name is Sensei Moshe King. Uh, you can call me Sensei Moshe. Uh, if you've got any comments or you're trying to get hold of me, it's very difficult for me to respond straight away. So I'll answer any questions either at the end of the session or you can email me. Uh, at MoshaKing6 at gmail.com. Uh, there'll be a mailing list. We'll be sending out lots of fun stuff for the kids to do, which will be judo related. Uh, but for now, welcome. Um, so parents, obviously, this is a session interactive. Um, you're welcome to join in. Please keep an eye on your kids. Keep everybody safe, especially if you're doing it in front of TV, no sharp edges around. Um, if you're injured in any way, um, please make sure that you're not going to participate in the areas that are going to cause more injury or uncomfortability with that with that injury. Um, if you you know we can't take any liability for any injuries during the session or after the session. Um, I personally can't because I can't see what we're doing. I can't instruct you to make sure that you're doing all the exercises correctly. So there's a little bit of um, at your own risk for this session. Uh, it's going to be relatively light. What I'm going to try and do over the next couple of weeks, uh, hopefully just weeks. Uh, it's to build up exercises that you can do all year round with each other, with your kids, by yourselves, um, that will keep you fit, keep you mobile. Uh, they all do have a judo practical element. So you might have seen them in some other exercise classes that you've done. You might have even seen them in Zumba or Pilates. Um, but these are going to be specific for judo. Um, if you're struggling with any of them, don't worry. We are going to try and try to build them up in a, a gradual manner so you can understand them. Um, and I will show you the duo application for each movement that we do. If you want to try uh, or if you have any real problems, again, give me an email, send me a message, and I can try and spend a little bit more detail. We did try one on Friday. It was a very detailed session. Um, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more fluid today uh, with a little bit more fun games uh, and exercise, which, again, you're welcome to use at any time. So sensei, as I said before, means teacher. Uh, there are two other words you might hear me use because now I've got my boys back because uh, they hadn't finished school yet last week, even though my daughter was here. My daughter might come in in a bit. Um, so you might hear me say mate, which means? Stop. Stop. What does it mean? Stop or go? Yeah, stop. Stop. Mate means stop. And the Jimmy? Go. go. means go. So if you hear those two go. Japanese words, one means stop, one means go. The Jimmy? Go. Mate? Stop. Stop. Okay. So you might hear me say those. Uh, if at any time you're feeling uncomfortable, you just relax, chill out, sit to the side, and then you can join in whenever you want. Make sure you've got your drinks handy. We need to stay hydrated. Uh, it's quite a warm day today. Um, we're going to have the door open a little bit more in a second to allow breeze to come in, but I think we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, we've done all the introductions. So uh, this is uh, Ariel. Ariel, give a wave so they know who you are. Raphael, come forward. They can't see oh, just your hand. There we go. And that's Raphael. So there we go. So I think we're ready. Everybody stand up. We start with a warm up. Uh, you can stay there. Look at me. I'm actually pretty toasty, so I'm going to take off my top already. Yesterday, on um, Friday, it took me a few times. Now, you might have expected me to have a beard. So uh, I actually shaved it off. So this is the younger, more attractive, younger brother version of me. So uh, it's still Moshe King. And here we go. So, first of all, we're going to start jumping side to side. Just from one foot to the other foot. Start to get the blood flowing. One foot to the other foot. 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 The other foot. Shifting our weight. That's all we're doing. Now, like you were doing, two feet. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of blood circulating. Okay, so bring that to a standstill now. Walking on the spot. Following Sensei. Marching on the spot. Now bringing knees up high. Knees up high. Trying to keep it nice and level like a proper. Nice and level. Got that, nice and level to the floor. Try and keep these legs at a right angle. And keep marching, no one said stop marching. Wow, it's something here, it's gonna open the door a little bit more before my kids faint. 
Again, trying to keep safety here. Uh, facing me. Everyone facing me. And stop. All right, shake off the arms. One arm across. And now we're looking over the other side. Okay, the arm across. No, you don't need to change. You can just stay up with me. I'm just doing it for the camera so they can see what we're doing. We're just pulling that arm in and we're looking across. Shake that out, because we're going to be doing some upper body work. So we need our upper bodies to be nice and loose as well. If you're really good, you can do your wrists at the same time. Nice clockwise motion, keep looking out. Don't pull it too hard and don't put it too hard. Just keep your body, your, your shoulders nice and square. Pull the arm across. Flex those fingers. Flex, 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 flex. Shake it off. And the other side. So the other side, whatever side you're doing, all the way across. Now look over the shoulder. And we're gonna wrist all those wrists in a circle. And the other circle. And flex those fingers. And a round of applause. Very good exercise. A round of applause. Right, now do some hips. So again, head nice and forward. And just the hips. Do, 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 do. Keeping the head nice and straight, shoulders nice and straight, just the hips. <laughs> and the other way, bigger circles. Now this is one to warm up the shoulders. Are we ready? Hands out. Now small circles. I like to keep my legs a little bit bent for this bit. Give yourself some space. Don't hit each other in the face. There we go. All right, just a little bit there. There we go, a little bit forward, a little bit forward, right down here. Okay, so here we are, we are, in fact, swap, you go the opposite. <laughs> I think this is the way we're going to do it, I think that's going to be easier. Right, okay, so we are, small circles, really small circles, quiet circles, really small, bend that knees a little bit, shoulder, oh, it's already hurting, we haven't even started, bigger circles. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, so you have to rest. Put your arms down by your side if it hurts too much. Obviously, if you're bigger, stronger, bigger circles. Guys, you might ache tomorrow in places you never knew you had places. I take no responsibility for those aches and pains. Um, but that's the beauty of exercise. Okay, so we did that one. So now we're just going to warm up these shoulders again. Now, importantly, brushing our ear as we go. We're not putting our ear on our shoulder like that, because that's not going to warm up our shoulder. We're going to keep our head straight and all the way forward to brush the ear. Forward to brush the ear. Oh. That looks like back to me. Forward. <laughs> like we're swimming. Like we're swimming. In fact, when you're swimming, you might do that. So we're not. We're push here. Forward and now backwards. Now the arm facing out over the back, like a backstroke, brushing the ear as we come past. Now for all those talented sportsmen out there, starting here, one one way, one the other way. More complicated, oh, that was too easy, so let's swap directions. Oh, now shake those shoulders off, that was really hard work, those shoulders. Now I don't know how we're gonna do this because uh, health, safety, and safety first, I don't want anyone falling over, so we're gonna lie down and we're going to be doing this exercise. You can do it standing up if you're familiar and you've got good balance. So we're going to be doing a quad stretch, which is going to be here, which is knees together, hips slightly bent, and we're just going to be doing... No, you stay where you are, I'm just showing the camera, that we're bringing our heel to our to our gluteus maximus, just there like that, or to our bottom. Okay, so we're going to do that one side. If you can't do it standing up, it's a bit dangerous and the imaginary hook's not working for you, or putting your finger in your ear's not working for you, <laughs> then what we need to do is we need to lie down nice and safely, and we're gonna pull just like that. So you can do it, knees together, hips forward, nice pose, nice and relaxed, and you can do it like that. Once we've done that one, yeah, we've done a little bit of head now. Normally start with head, but I forgot, so we're just gonna look left, or look one direction, not the band, look at the other one, nice and relaxed. And then always coming back center straight up. Oh, now stretch that. And later on, we're gonna do some breathing techniques. So remember these ones, because we're gonna use those right at the end of the session to do some breathing techniques. 
And I think that's pretty good for now. Okay, so over here, first exercise we touched on the other day. What I want to do, as I said, we're going to build all these up. So eventually we've got a nice quick routine and then I can start playing games. So for now, whenever we're going to do the first exercise, which is a foot sweep uh, for the Ashi Barai. So you might have seen it before. You might have done it in Zumba, but not quite like this. First thing we have to do is talk about Tsubiyashi steps. In judo, we always move, we always move feet on the floor, hips, head up. So posture is very important in judo, as everything, our feet slide along the floor. And what we're doing is we're pulling, one second, we're pulling one foot two, and then we're pushing the other one. Okay, so it could be the start of dance move, all the way across, and then push out. We never bring our feet together, because then obviously we're off balance. So here. Two and push, two and push. Let's all try that one and do one, two, one. Stay there, two, stay there, two, one, two, one. Push that across, glide across. Parents, if you see your kids putting their foot together, say no, no feet together. Push them across. Okay, one. Two. We got that? I think we've all got that. This time I'm gonna go one, two, and then my back foot, which everyone's behind me, is gonna come across the front. I'm gonna keep my say that, I'm gonna keep my feet sweeping across the mat. Yeah, I'm gonna make this arch part like a big ice cream scoop coming across the front here. And you'll see, ooh, I'm gonna fall over. You're gonna see my arm is going to follow this foot. So one, two, and then you see my arm coming down and I'm making this ice cream scoop. I try to set it up so you can see it, but it should stay all the way across the floor. There, like that. So one, two, come on guys. And then the other way if you can, the opposite direction is exactly the same, arm across. One, no crossing this ever. One, two. One, two. Now the other arm, like a steering wheel now, we're pushing that up. You can imagine that this trading leg that's doing the sweep that's coming in front is all the way connected to this hand. Wrist to, wrist to ankle. And then I make a big steering wheel motion. Try again, power ready? Okay, so now there's a game with it. When I point that way, you have to go that way. When I point this way, you have to go that way. Okay, so when I go that way, everyone runs. That's not runs, but we're going to do our sweep. And when I point that way, everyone will do a sweep. Everyone okay at home? Okay, ready? And get in the middle. That way. And that way. Don't push each other over. Make sure you've got space. And that way. Okay, remember what we're doing. Really, it's perfect. Practice makes perfect. So we want to make sure that we've got all this sorted. Okay, now, everybody on the line. Everyone on the line facing forward. We're going to be like a frog facing forward, Aria. That's facing, that's facing the sideways. That's forward for you guys. Always that's forward. So, legs, shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. These are your shoulders for those that are struggling with shoulder width apart. They go all the way down. So at the bottom, we're shoulder width apart. We're going to bend almost like we're perfectly demonstrated here, like we're sitting down. So we're going to not actually sit down. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, just give me that demonstration. So we're here. And then we're just going to go too far, maybe half a meter. Just we're going to do a little jump. Now, head has to be upright. Shoulders pin back. And when we land, we've landed in exactly the same position. And we can go back. Now, don't be heroes. Don't jump three meters just now. If we had a big dojo, then yeah, we could put these really quick leaps. But we're not going to do that now. Let's do a little leap. Forward and one. And two. And one. Keeping heads up and back straight. Let's go. Let's do five. One. Good. Careful. Two. Three. 
That's it. Nice and small leaps. If you if you're falling forward, forward, it's because your head's forward. If you're touching the floor, it's because your head's forward. Keep your head upright. Geo is all about balance. We got that. I think that was pretty good. And again, so now keep the heart pumping. We're going to go here. We're going to jump to an angle. One way, halfway. Okay. So go on the spot. That's it. And back. And back. And back. And back. And back. And back. And away. Okay, don't try that one. It makes you fall over. Right? Did we all enjoy that so far? Okay, that's 15 minutes and we haven't even started yet. We're doing really, really well. Okay, so now, again, we're running for all the things we did on Friday. We're just going to go quickly through them. So we took this one on. We made a little imaginary square in front of us. And we took one foot, whichever foot it was, we went diagonally across to the other corner. Diagonally, so we, so we, we cut it in half like a triangle. And judo, we're... Can you hear? I don't know if you can hear it. Can hear my foot sliding across the mat, because that's how we moved it. We never, we're not really up here. So although sometimes we do those jumping exercises, that's really just to get our quads mobilized. But when we're actually doing throws and techniques, we're sliding that. So what we're gonna do now, slide the opposite corner, and then like we just did when we turned, I'm gonna bring my back foot to the other corner. So now I'm facing in the other direction. So nice and simple, slide, slide, and now both my feet are facing that direction. And I can do the same the other way, so don't waste time. Okay, and I can also try the other diagonal. And not to waste time, I can go straight back. Okay, if the legs are far too wide apart, we want to keep our legs shoulder width apart. Shoulder width. Shoulder width apart. If we're like this, oh, sumo wrestlers, so we, although we can do sumo exercise for later, it's going to be far too difficult to do anything once we're in for a technique. So it's far too wide. Shoulder width apart, opposite. Again, back's nice and straight. Back's nice and straight. Head's chin's looking forward. It's like our head is being pulled from above and actually suspended like that. Okay, and it stays there. Okay, we got that. Okay, now I think it's time. I think we've done a lot on the list. I think we've done a little bit of quad motion, so I think we're going to now add one more thing to this exercise, which is as we're coming in and we're going the other direction, we're going to squat like we were just doing. Okay, now if I can, I want to do it all in the same motion. Again, it's really important that my head and my chin and my back is staying upright on these. So these are going to be techniques that we're going to use later. Again, when this is all over, you're welcome to come to Boreham Wood to Shazen Thai Judo Club. And we can actually start putting in some throws and some techniques. So Raphael, come back. Yeah, on this one, really quickly, because we want to move on. We're going across, facing the right direction. And if we want to do it in two stages, we should do a nice seated squat. Okay, and as we go, if you need to balance, put your arms out for now. Arms all the way forward. And nice, squat as low as you can. And back up, nice and safe, as low as you can. Straight back up. Got that? I think there's a round of applause. A round of applause. Good demonstrations of the upper body. Now we're going to have some fun on the floor. So here we go. Not yet. So we have finished the other session. So judo is, as we said, a lot about balance. So what we're going to do is if there's two of you, we're going to play a little game now. If there's sort of three or four of you, if there's only one of you, you're going to do what I do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to lie flat on our back. Okay. Now, yeah. <laughs> flat on your back. Okay, so if there's two of you, bring Raphael into the middle <laughs> so you can see, I am going to try and touch Raphael's head. <laughs> And Raphael doesn't want me to touch his head. So what he's going to do is he's going to move around the best he can on the floor. So as I come to touch his head, he's going to move that. So you can easily leave knees up, knees up. Okay, and the other way. Again, just be careful with the space. And if I touch him, there's no forfeits today because, uh, not forfeits, but normally I've made, if you get touched, then you have to 
do some press ups or something. Like we're not doing anything like that today because it's the first time I've played this game. So on Ariel, I want to touch his head. So <laughs> swing round, swing round, swing round, swing round. The other way, swing round, swing round. Now, if you're on your own, if I touch your head now, what we can do is go onto the front, roll over to your front because you got touched, and the same thing. I want to try and touch your head, you have to try and swing, move away. In a circle, in a circle. Okay, so who wants to try and touch my head? Okay, out of the way for a second, let's just demonstrate this properly. Here we go, so this is all in the core. So Ariel's here, trying to get to my head. I'm looking, come around. Yeah, so it's a bit like a crunchy. Those are familiar with crunches. Just to get my back off the floor. And then when he touches my head, oh no, so now I'm on my front. Now this, if ever you've done uh, skydiving, I don't know if any kids would have done that, but we're gonna be like this, so here. Nice and light, my hips are off the floor, my knees are being moved on. Uh, touch my head. Okay, so I've come back to my safe position. So on Friday, we did loads of this on the floor, and this is the next level. For those that weren't here, a real quick recap. We were doing a lot of raises on Friday, hip raises, and we were doing some, we were doing some shrimping techniques, coming in, coming out. That's what we're doing. So on your own, on your own, just on your own, we want to do three rotations. Keep going, push them around. On your own, three rotations. Eliana, okay. You have to finish your banana. Okay, so you can sit there, and then when you finish, you can take your shoes off and come on. Have you done three? That's very long. No, I'm on four. Okay, so now I'm on your front, on your front, on your front, and round again. That's it, slide around, slide around. Come on, my boy. Slide around. <laughs> Okay, now opposite your partner, what we're gonna do is this. Opposite your partner, on this, okay, depending on what age you are, again, it's all about safety, it's all about posture. Here, okay, just move here for one second, stay there. Okay, so, we were like this. I'm gonna, in all fours, nice and solid, like a, now I'm a, a pretend table. I'm gonna take my, let my arms forward, so my legs, now, I put my knees together, I'm almost in a press up position. This would be a press up on from my knees. Yeah, I don't know if you can, if you're strong enough, you can actually do these press up positions all the way from your toes and you can bring them down. Okay, we're not actually doing press up now, so I don't know why I was doing a press up, <laughs> but that's a, a normal press up position. So if I stay press up position, you've got two options, knees or fully extended, depending on how you are. Okay, so first one that we're doing today is not a press up, it's going to be a plank. I'm so cool. Yeah, it's going to be a plank from press up. So if there's two of you, what you can do opposite each other from this plank position. Now, if Ariel's posture, you can see his bum is very high because he's struggling with his core stability. So I'm going to ask him to go to his knees and come, go back and put on his backwards. So you're nice and like the board. So nice and safe. Form is much more important than trying to do it badly. So we're nice and safe. And what we're going to do is we're going to attack the other person's opposite wrist. Okay, so a little bit closer and tap, tap the opposite wrist. We're going to take that in turns. Take that in turns. Okay. And eventually, not today, but eventually we'll use that as balance. And we use that as another game to try and get the other person away. If you're on your own, what we can do is we can go from here down onto our elbows and back up. Yeah, that's what we can do. Also, what we want to try and do is we want to be able to get one leg off the floor and then the other leg off the floor. These are all really it's good. Be working. Everyone on their back. Everyone on their back. Now, again, because we're going to really work the core today, we're going to stretch our legs out. We're going to look up our arms nice and relaxed to the side. And we're going to try and hold our feet six inches off the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever doesn't do inches because it's really old school, just a fist. Let's do, just do a test. Just a fist. Fist off the floor. Can we hold it there? 
Try and hold it there. What we're going to do is if you can only do one second, another day we're going to try and do two seconds and then three <laughs> seconds. If you're finding that's really easy and you're just there with your legs up six, uh, that, that fist distance from the floor, what we're going to do, raise it a little bit more. Leg straight. If you can't do it, don't worry, just stick with what you can do. And then to there. And that's going to be our clockwork on the floor. Okay, now if you're really, really struggling, don't worry. What we're doing is we're just going to start with a little bit of a cycle. Can everybody cycle? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to start, not cycle, not kicking, not, not, not like we're having a tantrum. Yeah. Yeah. We want to cycle. We want to cycle. Yeah, it's a little bit easier, but I think everybody can cycle their imaginary bike. Ding, 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 ding. Get that person out of the way. Or we can act like we like the climb on the one wheel. Okay, so we've got the cycle motion, and again, if you're really good at this six inches, then you can oscillate between one foot going on top and underneath. A little bit like I'm a ballerina jumping through the air, and I'm doing this, I have to ask Louise what that's actually called. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, uh, so there we go. There are a few good exercises. So now everybody on their knees. That's a little bit of a core workout to start with. All, and you're, you're in the rain, darling. What would you like? I don't know. So put it in the bin, darling. And then you're going to come on and join us. Yeah. Yeah? Take your shoes off. Because now you came just in time for Sensei Says. Yes. Yeah. yeah? Now at home, the rules are pretty simple. Those that have ever had the privilege of playing Simon Says, well, unfortunately, Simon couldn't make it today. So you've got Sensei. So Sensei in Japanese means. Teacher. 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 Been called worse. Uh, so, yeah, so Sensei says, so if Sensei says stand up, we stand up in a judo way. <laughs> so let's try that again because I did it wrong as well. So we come up to kneeling, our left leg first, and then we stand up. So the command word is sensei says. We're gonna say sensei says, kneel down. Kneel down. We're already kneeling down. Sensei says, put up your strongest arm. Sensei says, put down your strongest arm. Sensei says, put up your weakest arm. Or your less strong arm. I don't know what's politically correct. And down. <laughs> oh, Sensei didn't say put it down, didn't break. Good. Sensei says, look one way. Sensei says, put your arms down. <laughs> Sensei says, look one way. Sensei says, look the other way. Look up. Sensei says, look up. Sensei says, look up. This is, this is up. You're still looking to the side. This is up. Sensei says, look down. Sensei says, look left, look right, look the other way. Everyone look the other way. Sensei says, look the other way. There you go. Sensei says, roll your shoulders around and make big circles like we did at the start. Stand up. Oh, Sensei says, stand up. Sensei says, stand up. Sensei says, wiggle those hips, wiggle, 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 in a round motion. <laughs> mate! Okay, so mate is an overriding word. Whatever we're doing, sensei doesn't have to say sensei says. Mate always means stop. Stop, because that's for safety words. So if ever you hear mate, doesn't matter what you're doing, where you are, we just stop. That was a really nice demonstration of what mate means. Okay, so let's finish off the warm down. Sensei says, let's finish off the warm down. We're going to shake our feeties out, our leggies out. Now we're going to try and, Sensei says, we're going to roll our ankles and we're going to write our names in the sky. Sensei says, write your name or just draw a nice little wiggly picture with your feet. Look, look at what Sensei is doing. So write your name with your feet. Want to do it with your wrists as well? We can write our names, we can draw all lots of funny pictures all together. Look. 
Everyone's that way. Okay, so that was pretty good for the first session. Everybody over here. Everybody over this side of the room, Sensei says over this side of the room, and the game of Sensei says is now officially over. Everyone over this side, looking at Abba, on this side and look at me. Now, I want everybody, because we just finished our cool down, I want everybody to put two feet facing forward. Can you not, on the mat, on the mat, on the mat, facing forward, not, not ankles facing forward, just your feet facing forward, like we've been doing all lesson. Okay, now I want you to breathe in through your nose, and as you breathe in, I want you to bring your hands up through to here, and then straight back down, breathe out through your mouth. Yeah, a little bit bent as we do this. Nice structure, nice posture like we do all day. Breathing in, and then out. Breathing in, through the nose. And then out through the mouth. And now we're gonna go all the way to the top. So really deep breath in. Now we're not breathing into the chest, yeah? We're breathing into the belly. We're putting all the oxygen in our belly, ready? All the way to the top. And then round the side this time. Make sure you don't hit anyone on the head. Give yourself a little bit more space if you need it. We've got plenty of space. So we're coming up and we're not linking arms. We're just Okay. <laughs> I did it quick in the head. Remember breathing in, into the belly, <sighs> and out through the mouth. Okay. Um, thank you very much, guys. You can uh, go off and get your shoes. Your friends. That's the end. You can go back inside. That's a, a half hour, the half hour session that we're doing today. Uh, what I will say to everyone at home is please tune in again tomorrow. We are going to be building on uh, everything as we go along. Uh, it's really important just to mention uh, about the breathing and the meditational aspect. Um, it is part of judo culture, samurai culture. I will be running a special class later on, either this afternoon or this evening. Uh, so if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get a notification when I go live. I think it'll be the same on Instagram when I go live. Uh, and it will be up for 24 hours, so you'll be able to revisit that. And I'm going to try and record it so I can put it up um, as well. Um, this will be to help us, especially the parents with the kids as well. It's quite anxious times, stressful times with work, with homeschooling, everything going on. So I will be giving a demonstration on really basic level of, uh, of meditation. Um, there will be three different types of meditation. I'll only be doing two online. The rest has to be done in person. But I'll be doing two, um, which will be when you need to focus for a particular task, whether it be making a business decision, a deal. Um, I do property, so if I'm doing a property deal or if you've got a really important trade that you need to make, how to focus on the outcome for that. I also use it in every single fight that I have to fight. I call it the calm before the storm when you, have to really, when you, really, when you really have to center yourself. And the most important one that I'm going to do for you guys later is, um, is when there's loads of stuff going around you and there's a few different voices in your head that are telling you to do different things, how it's called just to clear that mind and just stay completely calm and focused, uh, which I think it doesn't take long. Um, some of the meditations take 30 seconds. Some of them only take a couple of seconds once you've had a lot of practice. And then obviously you can drag them out 20, 30 minutes, an hour. You can listen to music and all sorts of things. Um, and I'll be teaching, hopefully, all of you um, different levels of um, that type of meditation, which is really, really important. Um, if there are um, Orthodox Jews online that are watching this, um, I, we can go into a little bit more of the Kabbalistic content of those. But all of, all of the meditation we're doing um, doesn't contradict each other. There's many different types of, 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 of that have been used by the samurai, um, and they're all pretty handy to have as part of your arsenal uh, for what we're doing now, which is homeschooling. I think we all need some deep breaths, and we need to how to recenter pretty quickly sometimes, so we don't lose um, or upset anyone in the house because we're quite confined in space. So thank you very much. Uh, have a thank great you. day. Stay thank safe. You. Stay hydrated. Um, <laughs> Love well, that's me hiding. Good, because, because you're in our family. So we have that in our house. It's a quick bit off the wall.